and welcome to Lot Nice Living. Um, today we are at Cafe 82. Uh, delighted to be here with Danny on the first day of season yeah. 2018. <laughs> season 4. How's the first day gone? Really lovely. Everyone's come in. Lots of locals, which is really nice. They've even brought some gifts, gifts for us. So. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it was good. It really feels like it's the start of the season. The cafe opens and kind of everything's getting yeah. kind of polished down and brushed off. Yeah, no, it's been a lovely day. Everybody's been over overwhelming how much support they've all brought. Because I thought we'd maybe have a few, but we had nearly 40 lunches, so that's wow. good. Wow. Especially for this time of year. And the coffee addicts in the village will be pleased that they've yeah. <laughs> They're very happy. They come so. in shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's been two months I since know. I had a decent three cup. Months. <laughs> three months yeah. since I had a decent cup. <laughs> this is, today was the first day I set my alarm since December. So, God. <laughs> <laughs> so bright eyed and fish I'm glad yeah. we got you today. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's quite interesting when you don't have to do that for three months. So, so what have you been doing with your time off? You've been on your travels? Yes. I went to Israel and to Istanbul and a cruise with my gran for a couple of weeks which was lovely Amazing. so it was good yeah collecting food inspiration for the menu yes lots lots of eating Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, what exciting things might be seen um there's a few things we'll definitely falafel at, one, at some point oh, for the love falafel somewhere I had way too many falafel in, in Israel which was good that was lovely. Yeah, but any kind of ingredient inspiration from. There's quite a lot of beetroot. They use quite oh, a lot of okay. beetroot. Nice beetroot dips and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you can see, actually, there's a beetroot dip on the menu. Oh, Today yeah. it was roast veggies and feta. Oh, fun. Um, and it's made with coconut milk um, and garlic. So nice. It's been roasted in balsamic glaze. Sam. <laughs> I think it's one of those ingredients that's just really good for you as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really all over kind of health perky benefit. And uh, there's also a new breakfast um, quinoa. I don't know if you saw that. I name. saw on Instagram. Yeah. I was thinking this is the the first of these kind of food teaser things that you're going to start yeah. posting <laughs> <laughs> as every nice dish comes out of the kitchen. We'll get a little po- picture, and I'm going to be like, oh, my tummy's wrong. <laughs> yeah. So I've um, it's just like cooking porridge, the quinoa, but I've cooked, I've been, I cooked it this morning in almond milk mm-hmm. with chai seeds, goji berries, organic soy yogurt um, and fresh fruit. Fantastic. Fantastic. So yeah, it's good. That it's sounds nice. really tempting. I had it this morning and it was lovely. <laughs> Does it keep you going for the rest of the day? Yeah, I've not had actually anything to eat since. So, so. <laughs> I'm ready for my dinner now, so it's good. But that's yeah no the menu's changing I've not really got the smoothies there yet but right. they'll be in the next couple of weeks they'll be changing and you'll see some pictures of them yeah and is that going to change with the kind of seasonal ingredients and see what's available in the grocers throughout the yeah at the moment there's well, there's not much yeah um, fruit, rhubarb will be soon so there'll be mm-hmm. definitely rhubarb on the menu we've got a little rhubarb Outside. So. And if you get rhubarb in, then you can keep the leaves for me and I can use them as a fixing yeah. agent, a mordant for natural dyeing. Oh, but, well, the leaves we get are usually like this from down at Temple Pier. So. Oh, yeah. and by the time they're kind of mushed down, you see, you need quite a lot of these if you dye more than one skin at a time because they mush down into yeah. nothing. You have to show me all your different processes <laughs> <laughs> of what you get up to. Especially with the avocados, because that's interesting. Yeah, so that's our joint project that we're going to be doing. Uh, just, I think it's really interesting to see what can be done with food waste or, or just any kind of waste Definitely. with things that people throw away. And when you're kind of a crafty person, creative, when you make things, you have the freedom to turn a waste product mm-hmm. into something else. Um, there's quite a few food items, like onion skins. I remember seeing that red onion. White onions make a lovely orangey colour. Red onions do a lovely pink colour. And then the one that we're going to try with you that I'm really interested in doing is the avocado, which you can use both the pits and the skins. 
and you kind of soak them off for a process and they make a lovely pink colour, mm. like a dusky pink colour. I'm excited to see. Gorgeous. I like that. I like, well, as you know, I like pink. Yeah. <laughs> Looking in here. It's, and it's, it's, it's the perfect match because it's, it's your colour and your mm. materials and it's a great collaboration. Um, yeah, I think it's a, a really nice way for kind of two local businesses to yeah, come together. Yeah. We've been saving them today, so once I've got a few more, I'll bring them down to you. Did you see the um, 82 sign I made? Yes, with the broken yeah, pottery. Yeah, for all the broken china over the last three years, we got Highland Joinery to donate the wood, and they made an 82, and Kalman Trust in uh -huh. Inverness, they got the young team involved and we made so Cal and Trust gives I think it's young people age it's kind of 16 to 24 it's kind of yeah I think well group. they were yeah. around 17 18 year olds yeah. the yeah. little crew that we had so they were lovely yeah and have you been doing some cooking skills with them as well yeah I've done um, in the winter when I was closed I've done a few mm. classes with them one at a break and a couple in Inverness so it was good the signs they need to go up now, but yeah, I'm not sure how easy that is to get them up. But they look cool; they're really nice. Yeah. We've got lots. Of, all the china will be hopefully not breaking over the year. I'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll to make something next make another year. Another sign. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll start seeing mosaics on the walls. I'm not sure yet. No, I think I think stuff like that is just it's so nice. It gives you a really genuine mm. feel. Do you know, like. Um, well, when Toby, my husband and I first met, it was in um, kind of a, a pub that had a lot of design and mm. a lot of kind of photographs but that had been kind of brought in to give it ye old world feel mm. kind of thing. And it's lovely when you go to places that have got a very authentic decoration. So where where like was your, that? Your personality. Well, well, that's when we were at university in Stirling. Ah. a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think, well, do you like my new table that just... Like the yellow one, uh, yeah, the with door. them, yeah, it's got chickens <laughs> painted on it. <laughs> yeah. um, a lady in Inverness was be making them and selling them on gun, gum tree, so oh. I Maybe. got one from her, which is nice. I've got some decorations that are really similar to that, um, and it's part of a I can't remember, I think it's a Chinese tradition where it's really good luck to have birds in your house, so you make oh. birds to have in your house to try and encourage real life birds to, to come and kind of nest in your house. And if one nests in mm. your house, like in the porch or something, it's meant to be the sign of a happy home. So mm. really good fortune. Hopefully these birds will bring me some luck <laughs> over the summer. <laughs> I sure it will. Is there anything you're particularly looking forward to this season? Um, I'm more organised than normal, which is mm -hmm. it's a great feeling. So usually at this time I'm a bit like, ah, oh, because I've only been in business three years. Three years, yeah. I do, I'm new to it all, so I, every year it's getting easier and yeah, nicer, I think. Today I was ha happy to be opening, which yeah. is good. Are there any big changes? Mm -hmm. We are still looking for a new cook. Okay. But I'm um, doing the cooking with one other lady at the moment and we've got a few new staff members and I think that's about it. I've got a few functions, a small wedding in June. Oh wow. Um, and that's it at the moment. I haven't Excellent. got anything else planned. So how do you think things have kind of changed since that first idea, that oh. nugget of the, the cafe to where you are now? What were some of the big lessons for you? Oh, everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really know what I was going to do, so yeah. I just had an idea that I said, said that I wanted to have a cafe. Yeah. I wasn't sure of colour scheme, mm -hmm. bar, yeah. table, I wasn't sure of anything, what yeah. the food was going to be like. Uh -huh. I had no, I just know I like to eat good food, uh -huh. drink good coffee, and I always find it hard yeah. in the Highlands of Scotland, so I just went with what I felt. Uh-huh. And this is what we've got. <laughs> is there anything that totally didn't work and you're like, yeah, won't be doing that again? <laughs> My bread making skills at the start oh. <laughs> <laughs> were terrible. One of my friends came in and told me that I had too much oil in the okay. bowl and since then my bread making skills have got good. Yeah, your muscles must have got pretty yeah. good. <laughs> Especially in the summer we make between 
at least at least twenty um no between maybe eight to twenty. Depends on the day. So one person's constantly needing in the day. Everyone tells me to get some machines but I'm still doing it all by hand. Well, you don't need to go to the gym. No. <laughs> <laughs> um but I think everything else it's just all come. Yeah. It's just all it's just all happening. I think the girls always ask questions. I just tell them just to do it and see what happens. That's a really good way just to yeah. kind of be brave and see what flies. Yeah. Is there anything that's really surprised you? Mm. Something that you didn't think was going to work? You're like, oh, actually. <laughs> a lot of things on the menu that happens when, say, if I say to somebody, I'm going to do this, they're like, oh, I don't think that will go. <laughs> but I'm like, I think it's fine. It sounds quite... Uh-huh. Different, but I think the flavours will work, and it does always usually work. Yeah, so. yeah. Like, what kind of flavour combinations do we have up at the moment? This morning, we we just made the top menu. This morning, actually, we weren't still sure what we were going to put on the menu, but with the avocado chili and lime with red pepper and cashew. Ooh, that sounds nice. Um, which was delicious. Yeah, and on the homemade bread as well, fresh out of the oven, mm-hmm. it was divine. That must have smelled amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, do I put it on the board about trying it? Oh, we'll try yeah. it first. But it's t- worked out really well. And you're changing the menus daily? Um, the breakfast day? will stay the same, but the lunch just... menu changes every day. So today it's smoked tofu and mango curry mm-hmm. with homemade chapati um, and a lamb stew, which Jenny, the other cook, she makes the meat stews because I'm not so good at cooking meat mm-hmm. and I do all the ve- vegetarian vegan stuff mm-hmm. so, so that works out now for people who are visiting the area looking for something really fresh really seasonal um, you know definitely worth popping their heads in here and even if they've been before yeah, you come, come again because <laughs> it won't be exactly the same yeah come and visit <laughs> yeah we I like to change the menu it's good for for me as well because it constantly keeps yeah. me thinking yeah I don't like to just do everything the same all the time, so it's better for me. And it's good for the customers. Some of the customers like don't like change, but yeah. then there's we can still do everything for them if they would like it. And do you find it's a, it's hard to sell the, the kind of vegan, vegetarian kind of philosophy around here, or are people um, gradually warming up to it? The first, couple, the first year, yes, yeah. it's quite hard, especially with the raw vegan cakes yeah but now a lot of people come in for them and it's more on social media and yeah everybody's would like to try it mm-hmm. especially even some of the men around here they do come in for and try the curries and before they would never have tried them so it makes me happy <laughs> yeah even if they oh they always say it's delicious so that's nice it's a nice compliment especially from all the highland meat eaters around yeah and I think the the big thing it has going for it is the, that you are cooking everyday fresh on site food. So mm-hmm. for people, even if they're not familiar with some of the flavour combinations, just the appeal that something's been made fresh from scratch, that you can't go wrong with that. That's why we have the we do good food, not fast food, because that's the, the yeah. Sometimes the wait's a little bit longer, but then you know it's freshly prepared. Mm which hopefully people understand that as well. I think they do, and I think that the general kind of understanding of food, and especially uh, people wanting to cut down on the amount of processing in their food mm. and all the amount of meat in their diet, that's become a bit more... People kind are of more aware, aware of what they're yeah. eating, I think. Yeah. Especially um, our age, they definitely want to eat better, I think, mm-hmm. and healthier. Before, it was always just meat, veg, and ties. But now actually people are experimenting more. And I think everyone knows how coffee should taste now as well. Which before they didn't... <coughs> or they didn't really think about what they were yeah. drinking. So that's quite nice as well. Yeah. And people want to know more about the bigger picture, about where food has come from. And I think food sourcing and, and food origins and the journey is something that we're just beginning to, to learn about and I think that's going to become a lot more interesting over the next few years. I think so as well, but it's quite sad I feel like as well, you can't just go 
there's not many farmer markets around here. There's not the yeah. fruit and veg shops that there used to be, yeah. which I I find that quite sad as well. That like you yeah. have to, if you want to even do your local shopping, you have to go to the big supermarkets, and it's lost that soul. I think. Uh huh. But I always feel like well, if you're in Asia or Europe, you go to the fruit and veg shop, you go to the markets, and you pick what you would like, and yeah. it's always really fresh. Yeah. So I think that would be nice to see that around here. <laughs> so room for something like that to come back I to the area. That, yeah. 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 Especially with that big car park I have outside. Ooh, that's really <laughs> <laughs> so. People used to say that a lot about um, the fish that came from Scotland. Mm. And that, uh, the majority of that goes abroad and goes elsewhere, despite being a fantastic local yeah. product. Um, that's it. It does actually. I worked in a restaurant not far from here, and they used to get their fish from the west coast, but they'd have to go to the airport to pick it up. But the vans would be passing, so. But it's just because it's on not on the yeah. itinerary, it would have to go to Inverness to pick it up. Yeah. So it would be nice for it to stay local. That would be nice, but it's a lot of money. Do you do fish on the menu? I don't remember. Um, seeing any. just smoked salmon, but I don't do fish dishes or anything yeah haven't really thought about it a lot of people have said maybe but the mm-hmm. fish um the fish man comes on a thursday to the post office so if i wanted to get something i would that's such a taste of highland life yeah <laughs> fish man comes on a thursday so thursday is the day that we will get our fish yeah <laughs> thursday's at the post office <laughs> Sure. I don't think I'd put it on the menu. Okay, that's fair enough. No. I think I'd like to just keep it just keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Keep it simple with the, the dishes. I feel like if I started to do fish and like meat dishes, like lots of meat dishes and stuff, it would just get complicated. And I don't really know how to cook them. Yeah. And then the, I don't think the flavour would be as yeah. good or as probably cooked to perfection. But with the vegetarian, vegan, I've got such an I'm always experimenting and tasting and yeah. learning about that so I feel like it's you should, should well it should always be very good yeah and I think certainly with what's happened in in the last couple of years with that interest in vegan and vegetarian cooking I mean I thought I was a pretty competent cook in that area but I have learned so mm. much it's just, I'm learning every day as well yeah I it's there is so much more to explore with flavours and ingredients in that area. I mean, you could just spend a, a lifetime just focusing on that. Mm-hmm. But it's cool. And there's like quite a lot of coffee shops in Inverness as well, which I enjoy going to. Yeah. And I like what they're doing in the food and their teas. And it's, it's nice that I can go somewhere that I enjoy as well. And it's good to be able, they all come here. So it's, they're all supporting each other, which is nice as well. It is to create um, a community of kind of shared interest. I think it's a really healthy thing to feed ideas. I know that I get a lot of kind of pleasure and a lot of interesting kind of trains of thought from my conversations when I go out and I meet other people mm. who are knitting and dyeing and designing. There's always something that you can learn. You should come and do a class here and teach us. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would love to learn. We'll, do, we'll dye you the yarn in Danny's pink and then we'll teach you how to knit yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. I would love that. Excellent. You come and do a little class. Good stuff. That would be fun. Good. Well, I think that you've teased us pretty well with what's coming up in the season 2018. I'm really looking forward to seeing what's on the menu. Sorry, I'm always so busy to chat. <laughs> just glad to have you back. <laughs> the shakes are gone. We've had our first cup of tea. We're back in for the season. And, Hopefully uh, it's a nice sunny season. Fingers crossed for that. Yeah. <laughs> as busy as you can cope with and maybe a little bit more. <laughs> I think we're, we're there this year. We've got it under control, hopefully. Brilliant. We'll check If not, I'll still be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> We've got that yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> See at the end of the season when you're like, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's all, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Famous last words. <laughs> totally. I'm just all revived from having the winter off, so... Yeah, in December we'll have another chat. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Well, thank you very much for your yeah, time today. You're welcome. It's been lovely to see you we'll again. We'll see you soon. Thank you.